Yo, what's up, everybody? B-Boy Spaz here. And as you see, I changed my decks area around a little bit. Got a nice view of my unmade bed right here. Um, you can also, you can see some of my DJing, my turntable, my mix. I don't know how much of this you can actually see, but hopefully you can see it. My records back here. And over here, we got my keyboard now. Everything. Also, I got a, an Oxygen 8. It's right here. Can't really see it, but it's right in front of me um, for some knob tweaking stuff. But pretty much, I picked up the Ableton 8 um, demo. And you know, they give you a 14-day free trial. Um, if you didn't know that, pick it up so at least you can get your hands on it. And what I'm going to do in the 14 days that I have Ableton is try and go through some of it and just give you all my first impressions on a lot of the features. Um, so yeah, um, today we're going to be looking at the warping. And so far, my first impression of warping in 8, I absolutely hate it. Um, maybe I just don't know what I'm into. Maybe I need to look at it more before saying this. You know, I'm sure I'll probably come back and change my mind or something. But as of right now, I absolutely hate it. Like, I think they jacked it all up. So, again, I don't know if anyone ever knew. I'm actually on Ableton Live 6. Um, I need to go ahead and upgrade to 7. Because, like I said, again, I can't stand the warping in 8. And let me show you why. So, here I am. This is Ableton 6 right here. And, you know, I come to a track. And I throw a sample in there, so I got this right here. So I'm gonna throw it in there. So here's my here's my nice little sample and everything, you know. Just in there chilling, sample. Double click on it, and I can start warping. And what you do is you double click the beats and you move the beats in order to the sample. So like for instance, at the front here, you see the first beats off, so I'm just gonna slide it over and boom, there you go. And also on the back, this is not the last beat, so I'm just going to slide it back, and boom. There you go. It's nice and all, and now it's in tempo. I'm going to have to do anything. Repitch it. Slow it down. Do complex if I want to. So yeah, nice and easy, quick and simple. I love it. That's how it's always been. So now let's go ahead and go to Ableton 8. And like I said, maybe I just need to play with the warping some more. Because I, I literally just opened it and was like, do 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 I'm like, I hate this. I gave it no time. So yet again, 14-day trial, Ableton 8. And the nice thing about the trial, too, 14 days of full, you can save everything. Make a whole track if you want to. Export it. Do what you need to do. But same way. So we got an audio track. We're going to use the same sample. Where is it at? Here we go. Pull it in there. All that's cool. All of it's the same. All of it looks the same. But now they have this new warping. And you can do this whole transient thing, which is nice because that's going to help out when you want to slow something down a lot. But now everything's based on a fixed grid and it's by the transients. And I don't know if you can change this. Um, if someone knows more about this, please tell me or leave a video response because, yeah, this actually made me not want to upgrade to 8. So now instead of double clicking the beats and then moving the beat onto the place i actually have to move these little transient markers but you see it moves the track in essence to the beat i just i don't like that at all so like if i want this first beat that was off like last time i gotta come in here Make sure I'm where I want to be and then double click a spot. Now I have this and then I move that. Oh, 
also I have to do it at the end move it off repitch it so yeah I don't know I just I don't I don't like it because now I gotta like see like if I want to get right there I gotta zoom all in and move it what if I don't want to zoom in like and I guess I guess you can change your grid down here which is really what it comes down to uh, so narrow grid widest what's, what's widest I don't want the widest narrowest so I don't, I don't know man I just I don't like it. Like, see, I can't. I mean, yeah, it goes off your transients and whatnot, but. I personally don't like it. And maybe I just need to give it some time. Because you see, you can get really more specific with it, so. But that is the warping in Ableton 8 transient based. See, like, I don't. Yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe I should just give it time. Um, let me all know what you think if you're actually using Ableton 8 already. Um. And tell me if you like the new warping better or not. Because I'm sure it could come in very useful, but I don't know. I don't know. Just for a simple, real quick, simple thing. I like the way it was. But alright. I'm out for now. Peace.